Yeah, so second part of 7.4 starts looking at the algebraic interpretation of vectors. Um, just some quick terminology here. One's going to be a, what we call a position vector now. So we're going to actually place these vectors on the coordinate plane um, with their initial point at the origin. So we would just kind of assume then that the force is being applied to the origin point. You know, before, we were looking at these things kind of geometrically. We had to set up the sketches. This, this vector was given some angle off the horizontal um, and then given a length. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these vectors, turn them into position vectors, um, where we actually are given an ordered pair that represents the terminal point of the vector. So point AB with these little pointy brackets here means position vector AB um, is going to have basically given now the X component, or what we called the horizontal component before, that would be the, the horizontal distance from here to here. And then the Y component, which is the vertical component, or B, which is the distance from the X axis to the terminal point of that position vector. Um, now, what we're not going to get is the direction angle, and that's going to be our theta value here. Um, that's the positive angle between the x-axis and the position vector u in the diagram. So given the position vector as an ordered pair, um, it does give us the, both the horizontal and the vertical component, but what it doesn't give us is the direction angle or theta or its magnitude. So those are the two things we're going to look at finding um, here first. Um, how would we find the length of vector u? Okay. Well, if we're given a position vector a, b, we know what this point is right here. We could set up a nice little right triangle where we know two out of the three sides. And if that's the case, hey, Pythagorean theorem sounds like a man. Um, two here, how would you find the direction angle? Well, Sokotoa, you know, we're going to know two out of the three sides. We could find the third because we know all three sides. We could definitely find any missing angle in a right triangle just using Sokotoa. So here's a couple formulas that we'll need um, to find the magnitude or the length of any position vector a, b. Um, if you notice that, it looks a lot like our modified distance formula from before, which it is. Um, it's just the Pythagorean theorem solved for its hypotenuse. Uh, magnitude of u is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, where a is the horizontal component and b is the vertical component of the vector. Or in other words, this theory would say they're x and y. Um, the direction angle, um, actually it's, it's best to solve or find using a tangent function because that'll, that, that's, we're looking at the triangle again, um, that'll be the two known or given sides of that triangle. Um, and again, to find then theta, what we'd want to do is take the tangent inverse of each side and that then, remember tangent inverse would cancel tangent, so to actually find the theta value, we'll take tangent inverse of b over a. Alright, so let's take a look at an example there. It's just I kind of went through that one kind of quick, but feel free to plot, pause and rewind if necessary. So here we go. Um, first example, let's find the magnitude and direction angle of vector u, or the position vector u, um, represented by the ordered pair root 3 comma negative 1. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a sketch. And if you just look at that ordered pair, hopefully you'll notice that that is in quadrant 4 um, with a positive x value and a negative y value. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale this thing out. Root 3, don't let that fool you, it's approximately 1.7 something. Um, so we'll just kind of eyeball it here. This will be about right there. And then negative 1 on the y-axis would mean our position vector or the terminal point of our position vector would be somewhere in that region right there. So here is vector u. And the two things we want to find are the magnitude of u and also the direction angle. Both as a as the small as positive and as the um, negative value, I guess you could say there too. So, you know, with any of these position vectors, we could obviously drop a perpendicular, okay, and that should be then represented by the horizontal and vertical components. So this side right here is root three, this side right here is negative one, and again that is a right triangle. So if we use our magnitude formula, we know that the magnitude of u is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Again, a is the horizontal component, or x, b is the vertical component, or y. So the magnitude here, you can find these pretty quickly. It's going to be root 3 squared plus negative 1 squared. And if you simplify that, 
Um, square roots of 3 squared is just 3. Square root of negative 1 squared is 1. And then from there we get the square root of 4, which actually equals 2. So the magnitude that we just found here, the length of that position vector, this force, would be 2 newtons or foot-pounds or whatever the units happen to be. Um, the direction angle, remember that's where we would use a tangent inverse function, tangent inverse of g over a, is equal to our direction angle. So theta then is equal to tangent inverse of g over a. Plugging that in, we would see that tangent inverse of g is negative 1 divided by the square root of 3. That should be equal then to, grab our calculator, type that in, make sure your load is in degrees, we are. Here we go, tangent inverse of negative 1 divided by the square root of 3. Don't forget to close out your parentheses there, hit enter, and there is theta, negative 30 degrees. So this angle right here would be negative 30. Um, occasionally we're going to want to find that small positive direction angle. You always want to represent these things as positive angles as much as you can. So if that's to get, if our calculator gives us negative 30, um, that would just be 360 minus our value, which would put us up at 330 degrees. So read the directions carefully. Um, generally, like I said, you, you might want to look at finding that small positive angle for the direction angle. Um, but it, it could be represented with a negative 30 degree angle as well.